Hello, Chimicum Elementary School families. Al Gonzalez here to tell you a little bit about my math and science class. So I send this link out every week on Blooms uh, with a glance for our weekly assignments and what kids are doing. First column here is 6G, my homeroom. Second column here is 6B, Miss Berg's homeroom. So you can get an idea of what we're doing every week. So when you got this progress report, uh, with the list of assignments, I wanted to show you where you can help your kids find those in case you have time at home to have your child uh, work on this. These uh, videos that I'm recording, you got one here with these shortened bit.ly links. I guess you figured out how to use it because you're watching this video. Uh, they're case sensitive, so capitalize the capital letters, leave the lowercase ones lowercase. But this is what kids in Miss Berg's homeroom have, have been working on. And this is my homeroom, uh, 6G. So if your kid can go to Clashcraft right here, this is what it'll look like. They're on the right track. This is their character in Clashcraft. And every time they complete assignments, they get points, which level them up. So this character is level 12. Over here, they get messages from me. I send out class announcements. Um, and, and messages to kids. But right here, this thing called Quests has all our assignments, so check it out. If it says 5-6 Starship Equinox, or 5-6 Math, or Money Matters, or Zombie Apocalypse, these are them. Zombie Apocalypse, Ocean Guardian School, Money Matters, Starship Equinox, Math, they're all right here. So if your child is missing, say, something in the zombie apocalypse quest, maybe they haven't done the big sneeze, there's five uh, sections to that. Uh, it's a game, so that one they will be playing something. Then they just go to zombie apocalypse, and here are the assignments. So that's, that's the vocabulary we're using. The zombie apocalypse is a quest, and the work in there are the objectives to complete the quest, or assignments. So problem in SBeth, it's got the, the information of what is happening or why. Then it has the assignment, the task. It tells kids what to do, and I tell them how to turn it in, when they can click task complete. Usually they have to type something here under assignment, and this tells them the points they're going to get for completing this assignment, and they can submit it right here. Uh, Classcraft is great. It allows me to keep track of all their work, let you know if they're keeping up, and if they can, they can work on these at home. Now there are a few that if you want your child doing homework uh, that they can work on. And let me show you. I've got two in the 5-6 math that are really helpful for kids to work on for their math skills. Prodigy, you're probably familiar with. Kids are really enjoying playing that one. Uh, but if you think that one's a little too gamey, you want something less gamey, have your kids complete the eSparks one. That one also tracks their, their skills, and it gives them problems that are not too hard, not too easy, so they can keep getting better. Uh, but if that one is too gamey, check this one out. Under Money Matters, if you haven't heard of Khan Academy, it's a really great resource. I've created a, a class for each of my classes, and they can go on there. And not only do they get to learn and practice the skills they are weak in, uh, so they can get better, they all I get to keep track of it. So in class, when we do grade level stuff, if your child is behind in multiplication or maybe fractions, this is their, where they can work on those skills. So in class, we do as much math uh, at grade level as we can, but then Khan Academy, eSparks, and um, Prodigy are where they get practice in the skills that's individual to each kid. So that's the double prong uh, strategy we're using this year in math that teachers at the elementary have been using for a while now is have them use these programs to work on their skills, and uh, in class, we can do other things. And then for science, we're doing great things here. 
we're starting fish trapping and pretty soon water quality. And if they want to work on some of their science at home, they are certainly welcome to. Uh, and that's how we're doing math and science this year. If you have any questions, message me on Blooms. But I hope this helps.